Hey, welcome to Color Up Poker. It has been a minute. Actually, it's been uh, about 30 days. So a lot of different stuff going on. I had a cough for a while, so I didn't want to come in and uh, play the tables. But anyway, today is St. Patrick's Day. And according to my schedule is day 164 of my journey. So I'm actually staying here at the GSR this weekend. And uh, so hopefully I'll have an opportunity to play a lot over the next couple days and um, maybe make up for lost time and see how it works out. So let's get after it. Ace four of diamond in the big blind. Under the gun makes it 15. One other call. I'll pay for a three-way flop. Kind of price of admission tonight. Full house. Doesn't get much better than that. I bet for $15 and get a quick call. He has a big hand. Heads up to the turn, which is a queen. I need to bet and not be as scared of the boogeyman. I bet for $25 and again a quick call. The river is a two of diamond. I have no idea what he could have opened with and then continue to calm me down with. It seems like it's got to be a pretty big hand. Only pocket queens beats me though. Can he lay down a flush? I make it $50 and he folds. Pocket nines, there's a limp in front of me so I limp in behind. Four players see the flop. Nine, six, three with two clubs. Checks to me and I bet six dollars into a little pot. Everyone calls. The turn is an eight of spade. Checks to me again and I make it fifteen dollars. I get two calls, then the original player who checked bets out for one hundred and fifteen. What the heck? He's got the straight or a crazy bluff. I fold, no one else makes the call and he does show the 10-7 for the straight. Now I should have open raised. He got to see a straight draw on the flop for $2 and you can't let people with 10-7 hands stick around like that. I'm in the small blind with queen jack of diamonds. Button raises it to $15. I call in a couple other early position calls. Four of us see the flop of two, king, eight, no diamonds. I whiff the flop and check. Gets back to the button, who makes it $30? Easy fold here. In the big blind with jack nine of clubs, I check my option. Three players to the flop, nine, 10, two, rainbow. I do have second pair, early position though, I just check. The button makes it $10, I can call that. We go heads up to the turn, queen of clubs. I now have an open-ended straight draw. I'll check to see where I stand. He checks and we see the river, four of diamonds. I missed and I just check. He bets $25, two over cards. I'll just let this one go. The table dynamics have changed. The opening bets have decreased and I have ace king in late position. I open it up to just $6 but still can't get any action. Boo. I'm in the big blind with king, six of spades. Middle position makes it $5. I call five players to the flop. King, 10, 6. Great flop with two pair. I shouldn't slow play it here, but I do and I check. Player makes it $15. I figure I should make a little correction here and try and get control back. I make it $30. But this should be more like a 3x raise if I'm going to do this. He calls and we go heads up to the turn, which is the jack of spades. I check. He bets out for $50. Huh? Okay, I guess the straight is in play, but I've seen this player showdown multiple times already with just absolute garbage. I am not a believer and I make the call. River is something like the three of diamonds. It didn't play. Again, I check to see what he does and he makes it $80 this time. I didn't believe him before and I still don't. I call and he turns over pocket sixes. Oh, that hurts. I was dead from the beginning. I top off with $200 more. Ace, eight of hearts, couple limps, so I figure I'll see a cheap flop. Five players see the flop of ace, king, three, rainbow. I get one heart. It checks to me and I'll toss in a nickel. Behind me makes it $10, early positions, call. I have top pair and a heart draw, I make the call. Turn card is a 10 of spade, no help. I check, late position bets for $15. If I knew the math, I would know whether to call or not here. I just let it go. In the big blind with unsuited broadways. Under the gun makes it $15. The small blind makes the call. At this point, I'm a little gun shy. Two players already in. Best I can make is second pair. I just lay it down. 
Here I have kings in middle position. Under the gun opens to $22 and behind me calls. It looks like we have some hands. I probably should three bet big here with the kings, but I just call. So the three of us see the flop, nine, five, 10 with two hearts. Original razor bets out for $60, middle position gets out of the way. I do make the rebet here, happy to get it all in for $157. He immediately calls though and turns over the aces. The run out is clean and I am busted for the day. Um, very frustrating. So it was a good table. Um, I figured it would be St. Patrick's night, it's a Friday night. I think there's like five tables running and very loose action. The things that people were showing down with was pretty crazy. Um, so there was money to be had. And uh, the first kind of big hand I got involved with, um, this just, this kid was involved in every hand. I had two pair, I thought I was good, and I just called him down and gave away most of my uh, $200 buy-in. So I don't know why I just kept calling him, but I just didn't believe him, right, because he never had it before. So it's kind of crazy. Uh, he ended up with three, three of a kind. Um, I rebought in for 200, so basically I'm all in for 400. I just stayed patient, um, and then I got involved in a hand with a really, I mean, just an action junkie. And uh, I had some kings, as you guys probably already saw in the uh, recap. And uh, I thought I was good, decent flop. So he, he bet, uh, he'd always open for 22. That was just kind of his thing. No problem, I called it. It was a clean flop. And then he, he tried to bully everyone, which was, is fine. Um, so that's why I was patient. So I think, he, I think his bet was like 60. Um, and he'll call anything too, so I just figure I shoved for, I don't know, 160 or something, and uh, he turned over the aces. So uh, <laughs> he got me. It, the board ran out. It didn't even matter what the board was. It was aces over kings. And so, uh, yeah, felt it for $400 a night, so not a good start to the weekend. But uh, I don't know, just frustrated, and it's like so discouraging. Like, man, do I want to chase losses and play tomorrow? But um, I'm going to. I got the money. Um, uh, and hopefully the tables are good again and I can just get uh, the cards that I need when I need them and uh, we'll give it another try tomorrow. So uh, good luck us tomorrow.